Hey, hey, may pips be upon you. Welcome to a new week of trading. Markets are open. And I have a little analysis I would like to share. <laughs> I'm going to share the uh, Dixie, the uh, Euro USD, the British Pound USD, and maybe some uh, USD yen here. I'm going to share it here and I'll have some more coming uh, between now and Tuesday. As you already know, I don't usually like to trade Sunday, Monday. I like to let the markets uh, decide on a bias first because usually Sunday, Monday uh, is usually a misdirection. And, and then uh, Tuesday, between Monday and Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday, you'll see what the actual bias for the week will be until that'll last until Friday and beyond. Um, but we're going to see what the uh, see what we have, all right. And uh, again, I would like you to look for the next videos to come out. Check that the free Telegram. I ha I'll have it in the, um, the the box under the screen. What do you call that? The uh, my description. Excuse me. The description box under the screen, and uh, you'll see some more uh, analysis, uh, and you'll see uh, some some good calls and signals uh, by the master of markets himself, the drunken master, uh, the drunken monkey. And uh, I call him the master of markets because he gives, uh, he, he, he covers it all, you know, and uh, at Lions Den, we try to uh, get uh, inconsistent and uh, non-profitable uh, traders to consistent traders. And uh, we do our best to do so. Uh, just check us out and uh, and uh, you'll see for yourselves. All right, now let's get to the Dixie. All right, and what what I have here, what is that? Okay, what I have here, uh, what we want to recognize on the, we're going to do a top-down analysis. What I have on the monthly is that we have a multi-year trend line starting from uh, 2002 and it's respected it thus far, all right? We had a reaction here and now we're coming down, okay? All right, we also have this uptrend as, as of recent, uh, 2011, we have a connection here. We haven't, we didn't get that connection here, but we have the connection here. So I'm looking at that, all right? I'm also looking at the way things have been going as of the last few months. We had a big push down, a retracement, didn't quite reach the 38 fib if we put out our fibs to uh, from the beginning of the move to the end of the move, we would see that. And then we had another push down. This is a, a impulse correction, an impulse uh, phase. And uh, we're in the, uh, 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 we, that phase is completed, right? That, that whole cycle is completed, I meant to say. Um, right, right now, we just had a push phase and this is the correction, all right? Right now, this, this correction is right at the 618, it should be. That should, looks like a 618. Yeah, that's not a fit, all right? Uh, 618, that is the golden ratio. That's a lovely pullback there. So that's what, that's what I usually like to see. And then I would expect another move down to complete the ICI uh, cycle and then beyond, right? But that might not come this time because we are, we've hit a double top and you can see there is strength in this support here. Cause if we go to the left, we see here we have uh, it tested as resistance. And then we see it acting as support here resistance here and so forth all the way down, right? So what are we looking at? <laughs> we, better wait, we better wait and see. We see this show of strength here. So we, we wanna make sure that uh, whatever pairs that we're, we're going up against, we wanna see if the, uh, the dollar is gonna be stronger. And it kind of looks that way, but with this trend line, uh, we, we're showing kind of like a, a break of structure here, all right? And it looks like it should be 
looked like we would be going down, but uh, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to say that's exactly what, what we're gonna do. We still have room to see, where's my pen? Where's my pen? My pen, doggone it. I had a pen here. Well, I, apparently I must have lost a pen. I, I, I could have sworn I, 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 I had something to write with. <laughs> and you saw it at the beginning of this doggone, this doggone thing, man. Anyway, I'll try. I use this. All right. Uh, you can see that we have room to, to actually hit this trend line as a retest and then come down. That's if we come down. But this may turn out to be, this may turn out to be a false breakout. And we could see with uh, uh, USD strength, we could see a break back in to this range, right? Da, 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 da. And then come back, it, then work our way back up to the top of the uh, the wedge of the triangle, All right? That could happen. So we're at a very delicate situation here. <laughs> My man, Raquel. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens here, all right? This, I have a dotted line here because this area of resistance, you see it's been pretty uh, active in repelling as support here and uh, acting as a support here and resistance here. So, you know, this could be, and you see it where, where that, uh, uh, that wick popped up pretty good here too. So bears watching. Right, let's go to the, uh, the, the, the weekly and we'll see what we got here. All right, we can see it a little bit more clearly here on the weekly. I wonder what happened to my pin. Uh, you can see how price left this uh, level with power and went all the way up. So, it, you know, of course, initially, the first thing I'm gonna think about is what we have here is a, uh, what do you call it? A demand zone. All right. We hit that demand zone. We hit that demand zone and we are reacting to it. This demand zone only says, only means that, hey man, there's a lot of orders here and uh, uh, we're dipping into those orders right now. And we're looking for at least uh, some a, a reaction maybe up to this level. That's my thinking. All right. If, if you squint your eyes, you can see that there is, there was a, a, a W made here. And I would look for a, uh, a testing of that neckline of that W and then a continuation to the upside. All right, that, that's my usual haunt, but uh, uh, we gotta see how things go. But that's, that, we, that neckline was already tested here. You can see that here. So I'm looking for more upside and maybe we go ahead and test this, uh, uh, this trend line or we prove that this was nothing but a, a fake, fake out to the bottom, which usually means there's gonna be a power move to the top and a, a, a nice showing of strength. If we see, if we go to the, um, uh, the daily, once it broke here, once it, once, let me get rid of all of this action. Come on, man. All right, once we, once we broke here, this was a show of strength for me. Once we broke that, once we broke that. And, uh, and uh, this is the neckline I was talking about. And then we had this reaction. And we got a double bottom here, which is a W. And I'm looking for another uh, test, uh, 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 um, continuation to, to the upside, and then maybe a, a, th a 38 fib pullback, which would hit here. You understand? I got a lot of lines up there. I'm sorry. What what you want to see with a, a W formation is brace to the north, 
comes back, test the neckline, and then a continuation on. Or that's a normal W, but if it's a, an extended W, where you see it's that leg is extended, then you want to see at least a 38 fib pullback. You want to put your fib here, here, and you'll see that this comes to about 38 inches, then you'll see uh, the continuation of the trend. All right, this is what I'm looking for here. You see the strong, strong bullish uh, close here from last week. I mean, from uh, this is the <laughs> this is from last week. Excuse me. This is from today. All right. This is today's candle. You see the bullishness. All right. And if you go down to to the four hour, you'll see that it opened with a gap. Look at that. It opened with a gap. And I need a pin right there. Look at this gap from here to here. That's quite a gap. When is it going to close that? Doesn't mean it's going to open up and then close and then go up. No, no, doesn't mean that at all. All right, but because it opened bullet, uh, bearishly, excuse me, but because it opened bearishly, when I watch candles open, what I want to see because I think we're going to see strength in the dollar, and what I want to see, what I would like to what I would like to see on the, the the newest candle, is it to open bearishly. At first, in the first half of its formation, all right. The second half of the formation, I want to see it flip up to the upside, and I want to see that wick. I want to see that wick. So far, it's going according to plan, all right? I'm wondering if we'll see some follow through to the upside. That's where I'm at on the Dixie, all right? I hope I didn't forget anything, because sometimes I do. I look at my little, my little crib notes, if I can find them. <laughs> oh, I'm so organized, yeah, yeah, there you go, okay. Open bullish lead, uh, double bottom. I got that six one eight retracement. Oh yeah, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the wick fill. I'm looking for a wick fill. All right, all right. Uh, we'll see. I don't know which wick, wick fill I'm talking about. All right, uh, something I was mentioning. Anyway, eh, probably not important. All right, so. We'll see. I'm looking for bullishness. I'm looking for bullishness to continue. Maybe we go up there and t uh, touch that uh, trend line. If not, if not, uh, I'm looking for uh, the rejection. I'm looking for a rejection to come soon uh, for me to believe that there is going to be a rejection. See how price didn't go, go, uh, couldn't get any further down? Couldn't go any further down. All right. This is the ICI impulse correction and we're still in correction are we going to get this are we going to get this uh a uh, breaking of this high to make a new higher high a new higher high because we we got the higher low we should be expecting a higher high it's reasonable to expect that and once we get past that then that exposes 92 90 or 93 all right that exposes 93 so that's what i'm looking for okay let's go to the uh uh, pound. I can uh, spell pound. All right. Let's do a top down analysis on that. Okay. What is all of this mess? All right. Okay. All right. Long view is we have a multi year uh, trend line that was broken to the upside here. All right. And uh, we're at a resistance point here. All right, you see how price rejected from here? All right, we've got a double top going. All right, but we have broken the trend line here. All right, broken to the upside, broken that high. And uh, uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I know it looks, it looks like a bullish bias, um, but with the impending with, with, with me thinking that USD may strengthen, I'm thinking of that. I got that in the back of my mind. All right, we've opened the new candle, for the new candle, uh, 
this is the, this we we're not on the new candle we're in the monthly all right we're we're bearish right now so we could see some further a weakening of the gp of the pound and maybe come back down and test let me see where we have the move here all right i'm going to go down further and take a good look at this uh yeah we may come that come back down to the 618 area here to test all right if we want to see the see the see see the uh the retracement here all right i would like to see that area because this was the last area of, of resistance turn support here so I'm, I'm looking at that area there all right let's uh let's go down to the monthly i mean the weekly all right this is where I look for breaks of structure. Where are my notes? There you go. All right. I'm looking for a break of structure here. All right. But I want to I want to point out we have a good channel going. All right. For the uh, a pound D a pound USD. All right. Got a good bullish channel going. However. See that rejection here outside of the uh, of the trend lines? That's that that is a little disconcerting, all right? Because it were it would represent not only a rejection from this level, which is uh, a 142, one uh, 142, uh, call it 142.40, all right. Um, not only is that, but it will represent a fake out. Fake out would mean that if it's going to fake high, it's going low. And so far, we got two bearish candles. Uh, so I'm looking for a break, a break of these of this uh, this trend, this bottom uh, support line of this channel, and that would be right around 138. All right, we're looking for a break. A break and a close below 138, so that uh, I would know that yeah, shorts are uh, shorts are in order here. All right, uh, we'll see how this candle closes. Of course, but this is the weekly. All right, but uh, and I'm giving you a long view of this. Uh, but they, if we were going to measure with the Fibonacci retracement, we would see that we are at the 50% mark. And that's the, uh, the area I would look for a retest is right around 137. All right. Uh, just as, as I have, have I had, as I had, have I, <laughs> as I have outlined there. All right, because this was again here is the last line of uh, resistance, which I would expect to turn support. This would be right around a 705 retracement level, okay? Once it hits there, is this, is that likely? It's reasonable to, to expect that to happen because of, it's a, because of the retracement. Once you have an impulse, you have to have a correction and then you look for the next impulse, but that is a rather large pin bar. And we see that we had failures to go higher here with those rejections. So this is in line with my thinking that the USD will find strength, uh, which would weaken uh, this uh, this pair. And we might see a, down a downfall here. So I'm looking for a retest. Uh, well, let me go down this before I start giving you my summations. <laughs> okay. Um, we're in the channel. This looks like it might be a fake out. If I'm going to put a Fibonacci retracement on this, I'm going to put it started here at the beginning of this move and then down here. So we're right at the golden ratio. 
I can see, you can see that clearly. We've already tested here. We tried to go higher, got it, tried it a, a few times at this level at the three, 382 uh, retracement level and could not break it. So now I am looking, are we going to break that uh, 138 level? If we do, I'm looking for it to come down to the 718 and we'll see if we get some of that action between you know a range and if we break down any further then then we'll then we'll have a, a definitive uh direction here on the daily so what i'm looking for what i'm looking for on the daily if i can just get these things out of here i'll be all right all right let's try that again boom all right so what i'm looking looking for here being that this this is my my what do you call structure my my structural pivot you know once it breaks here all right because this was the last lower high before this explosion before making that higher high all right once we break here that is uh a break of structure and that'll happen right around a, a 138 as i keep mentioning so that's this is an important area for me it's a delicate situation and uh i want i will look for a breakdown from here from here that that that's where i would take shorts Otherwise, I will be looking at this level here very closely on the lower time frames, because if I start seeing uh, rejections from this from this level, which is reasonable to expect, being that it's on the support line of this channel, we could see some more upside action. All right, it's important not to become married to your bias. I think that USDMA finds strength, but that's not something I'm going to marry myself to. This is Sunday, Sunday to Monday. We'll find out. Uh, we're going to, the, the markets are going to find their direction. Market makers are going to be looking for all kind of mess. All right. And then come Tuesday, Wednesday area, uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning, that's when we'll start to see whether it's, at, we're, we're going up in a particular pair or we're going down for the next two or three days. Okay. Now, uh, so that's where I'm at with, um, oh my goodness, where, where did my notes go? Okay, so that's what I'm looking, looking at uh, for uh, GU. Let's go to US, D. did I just do that again? Let's go to USDJPY, my shoulder is killing me. All right, and let's go to the monthly. Okay, all right. I like the USGJPY. See that shape there? Oh man, what did that just do? Let's get that out of there. All right. Now we see since 2015, we have this trend line, right? Now this is an interesting trend line because originally, originally, I had that trend line here capturing all these touches. It's very important to point this out, all these touches here. All right, that seemed logical, but then you get these two poking up out of nowhere, and this one, but then we get right back below the trend line. So I'm thinking this is the trend line that's being respected, right? Till we come to today. All right, uh, uh, this past week, this past week, uh, I'm thinking this close on that candle is in line with these and those. So I made an adjustment with my trend line. I'm thinking this is actually a, a truer picture of what price is doing. We have this strong support here, 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 and here, all right? Let's also use this resistance here and resistance here. So, you know, this is a key level and it's pretty strong. All right. So, uh, what am I, what, what do, do we have a trend line break if I kept it here and we're thinking bullishly or, or are, are we at resistance of this, uh, this wedge, you know, and an impending breakout is coming. All right, uh, that's that's where I'm at. I'm thinking a pending, a pending, impending uh, breakout might be coming, an imminent one. 
All right, um, let's go to the weekly and we can see how price at, has acted here and then come back to revisit this area. And if we look closely at this area, we can see where we have some hesitation going, going, going higher. Now, that's worthy of note. I want you to also see that we have an ICI. Boom, boom. Uh, uh, impulse correction and impulse. Um, when I put my Fibonacci at the beginning of this move, I get a picture. All right, and I want to keep it general. All right, I would think that price will come back and revisit the, what was resistance now turned support here at the 786, which is the last line of the retracement. But that's a very long way. So I'm going to look further, further down on uh, on daily in order to, uh, to measure the retracement, the possible retracement on this uh, on this pullback. All right, from here to there, I would th we're going to be looking for at least a 38 Fib Fibonacci retracement, at least a 38. So uh, outside of that, we're showing a lot of strength to, to this area. All right, and uh, it's, I just want to make an adjustment there. So uh, when we start to see consolidation here, there might be a breakout coming and uh, that, that should draw your eye. Let's go to the daily. Where are my notes? Okay. All right. And on the daily, uh, we might, uh, we got a possible, see, see this, see how the, uh, the impulse becomes a little clearer. Looking here to the top of the of the pullback and i mean of the uh impulse and you can see the 618 golden ratio is here and it is aligned with the last uh odd colored candle which is where price found resistance now it will turn it will become support this is a possible landing spot for uh price all right Price could come back here as part of this uh, this correction to this impulse, and then the next impulse will take us past this high. We need, we see, we have a higher high established, higher relative to this one, relative to that one, relative to, to down there, all right? What we wanna see is, are we gonna get a higher low or is this going to be the establishment of a lower high? I am looking hard at uh, the way this is moving. You see, there's a good reason why I got my eye on this, because this is the level, this is the level where we could find uh, this, uh, this trend line and it lines up perfectly. So, and we see how price is uh, in consolidation here. There could be a breakout imminent, it could go higher. And what we, what you would wanna see is something like this, up, retest, and then up. You, and you would get, you would get your, uh, your, uh, your entry here, all right? There's a lot of pips between here and there, to be honest, 140, 142, or oh, 140 at least. You know, that, that's a good, a good amount of pips to take a short. But what you would want to see, again, something like that, down, down, and then down here. All right, that's for all you counter trend traders. Okay. There's something for everybody. Okay. Uh, but uh, that's where I'm at. I think I covered everything. Uh, look for a break, a break and a close. 
uh, below or breaking a close above uh, for uh, to go higher or lower. We just we had to find out what's going on here. You don't want to just jump in now unless you want to go to the lower time frames and see what it, what, what the lower time frames got cooking. You can see that um, we are we are just getting things started here. You see that uh, that wake up that wake of rejection here, and you know it might be a minor level here, maybe. Maybe a minor level here because I'm looking at these closes over there, closes and openings and stuff. So, and the rejection here. So, you know, just bear bear in mind that you are in the middle of a a trading range. So we want to wait until we get here or here before, uh, so we can take safe entries. That, that's that's what I do anyway. Okay, uh, and that is U.S. dollar uh, yen. I've been on this long enough. I'll have some more coming out, uh, but and uh, look for a, a reassessment of things on Tuesday when I think that uh, the biases of the markets have uh, determined, uh, you know, been determined. Okay, so I will see you guys later on. And man, I really wish everybody ends up a happy trader this week. <laughs>